Parliament a lot and I have to do business with all sorts of people. But when you talk to people in the supermarkets, in the shops, people often say, you know what, they're all the same. They all look the same, they sound the same, and all too often they spout the same policies. And last summer, Jeremy Corbyn's campaign blew all that apart because what he inspired was hundreds of thousands of people, many of whom had never been involved in politics at all, to get involved for the first time and support his campaign and now support the defence of his campaign. And our first speaker this afternoon is a local young woman who's been inspired by Corbyn and this is her first time speaking at an event like that so I know she's a bit nervous, as we all are, but give her a big hand to Neve Lavelle. Hello, I'm, I'm here today as a young voter who's never had much interest in politics to explain why I choose to vote for Jeremy Corbyn from this day on. Prior to last summer, I had a very complicated relationship with politics. Between the two mainstream parties that were on choice, I felt I should support Labour as I was not comfortable with the values imposed by the Conservative Party. However, I had become disillusioned with politics. The only difference I saw between the two parties were colours, red versus blue. I never saw any true difference between party policies. I knew what I believed in and that was in a fairer and more just society for all. State funded healthcare, state funded education, affordable and accessible housing for all. In addition, I think it's an absolute disgrace that in a country where one of the largest economies in the world, that poverty still remains to be a huge crisis in this country. I voted Labour last year, but the only true justification I could do so was, in my opinion, it seemed to be the lesser of two evils. Until then, I did not vote because I was confused. Because my whole life, I feel I have been dictated to by the media. I have been chosen, I have been taught how to think, how to behave, and more importantly, how to vote for which party candidates. I feel as an individual I am continuously being lied to by today's politicians and the media and I demand change in society. When Jeremy Corbyn came forward last year to cast his nomination as the Labour leader, for the first time in my life I have a true passion in voting me. I was intrigued by this man because for the first time I felt there was a politician who spoke to me and actually understood the struggles and discontent I felt in this country. He was not just a persona for the cameras, but he was an actually an honest and humane man. This struck me as a young voter. I believe Jeremy Corbyn is the only alternative to what, to what is offered by the other parties. I am relieved he does not adhere to the values of New Labour, which in my opinion only further imposes Thatcherism values in this country. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn is a man who gives a voice to many in society who feel they no longer have a voice in today's society. And I know I'm not the only person who feels this, as it's evidenced by the amount of Labour supporters who have joined the party within the last 12 months. As I feel, I feel Jeremy Corbyn is the only hope I have left in this country. Uh, I am angry over the uncertainty of my future which remains within the UK. And these uncertainties include that I may potentially never be able to own my own home, which will force me into the private landlord sector, which is only becoming more and more expensive as it c carries on. <laughs> I'm getting myself into further debt in order to p p 
provide a future for myself and this all stemmed from when I went to university. I am fearful over the future of my pensions as I am unable to provide and save for it as I am struggling to make a living for myself in today's society. I am terrified of the uncertainty of the National Health Service and the state of education which one day will become when my, I have potentially have children. I am terrified of the potential that we may leave the European Union and the potential abol abolishment of the Human Rights Act, which in my opinion is the last form of institution that we can actually hold this government to account. I am absolutely fed up with a system which is in place that allows the rich to continue evading paying their taxes in this society. I am I am fed up of reading bankers continue to get their bonus after the financial collapse of this country. And I am fed up of reason about MPs continuing to abuse their MP expenses claims. I feel all I read about is the corruption, the deceit and the lies spread by the elite that is in power. I witness firsthand the poor get poorer and read about the rich get richer in this country. In Milton Keynes, I witness firsthand how the homelessness crisis of this, of this Milton Keynes is getting out of control and how food banks within the last five years have been at a greater demand than ever before. The time for change in this country has never come at a more crucial point. And this is why, this is what Jeremy Corbyn stands for. He stands for a kind of politics, a fairer politics, a straight talking politics, and an honest politics. And that is why I will vote for Jeremy Corbyn.